Hi guys, this is part two of the series on uh, properties of sets. Just a quick recap, we saw in the last uh, lecture what commutative property was and what associative property was. This time let's take a look at what distributive property is. To recap, commutative property is A union B is equal to B union A or if you take intersection, it's A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. In the associative property of sets, we say that for union of sets, A union B union C is equal to A union B union C. And for intersection, it is A intersection B intersection C is equal to A intersection B intersection C. Now let's see what distributive property is. There are two cases here, as you can see. One is A union B intersection C, and then there is A intersection B union C. Let's go case by case. Let's do the first one. So the first one, we call this as, please forgive my handwriting, it's, it's not the best. Okay, so let's do a quick example, which is, uh, let's take A is equal to 3, 5, 7, 9, B is equal to 5, 8, 9, and C is equal to 1, 2, 3, and 9. Okay, so A union B intersection C, this is what we are trying to prove, is equal to A union B intersection A union C. Let's do this part first. What is B intersection C? B intersection C is all the common elements in B and C. We see that only 9 is common. So B intersection C is 9. What is A union B intersection C? So as we know, we list out A first, which is 3, 5, 7, and 9. And then we list out B intersection C. But since 9 is repeated here, we just account it for once. Next, let's do, this is the LHS or the left-hand side. Now let's do the RHS or the right hand side, probably in a different color. Let's do A union B first. So we list out A elements 3, 5, 7, 9 and then we want to list out B without repeating anything. So 5 and 9 are repeated but 8 is not. We'll list that. Let's list it in ascending order just to make it easy. 3, 5, 7, 8, 9. That's A union B. Now what is A union C? Same procedure 3, 5, 7, 9 first and then we list out C without repeating anything. We know we see 1, 2, 3 and 9 are repeated so we leave it at. Let's do ascending order. 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, Nine. Okay, we got to do intersection of these two sets here. A, A union B intersects with A union C. Let's see what we get. That means we need to choose common elements between these two sets here, these two here. So what are the common elements? We see 3 is common, we see 5 is common, and we see 7 is common and 9 is common. So let's list it out. RHS, which is the right hand side, is 3, 5, 7, 9. We see that this is the same as this. Therefore, RHS is equal to LHS. So we have proved the distributive property for 
case 1 here. This is proved. Now let's check out case 2. What does this mean? Okay. Let us see with another example. Uh, A is 3579 B is 589 I'm just listing it up listing it out again for convenience 1 2 3 9 okay we're trying to prove a intersection B union C is equal to a intersection B union a intersection c right so let's do lhs which is this for b union c what do we need first list out b 589 and then we list out c without repeating anything one two and three I write this in ascending one two three 5, 8, 9. Now, A intersection, B union, C. What are the common elements between A and B union, C? 3 is common, 5 is common, 9 is common. So, that's 3, 5, 9. Right? 3, 5, 9. Nothing else matches. Okay. So, this is LHS. Let's note that down. Now for the right hand side, what do we need? We need A intersection B, which is common elements from A and B. 5, 5 is common, 9 is common. So that's 5 comma 9. And what's A intersection C? We see that 3 is common. And then this again nine is common, so that's three and nine. I'll probably shift back to red because this this time this thing is not pretty. So RHS is we got to do the union of these two sets, right? So let's list it out. First we list out 5, 9 and then 3 from this from this here. If you do it in ascending order, 3, 5, 9. We see that 3, 5, 9 is equal to the left hand side also. So LHS is equal to RHS. This proves that intersection of sets is distributive over union of sets. That's about it for this lesson. Thank you guys for watching again. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Uh, I will try to answer all of them. If you have any questions, please let me know. And if you want me to cover some other topic, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, if you think this is going to help you help your friends out, please share it with them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.